I think a lot of people who are interested in primary care come at this field because we see this gap. Cahaba Medical Care has a dual mission toward patient care and patient service and training the next generation. We thought there was a lot of validity in training people in rural if you wanted to do rural health care. We have worked really hard to kind of put together a panel of services that people that we live next to need in order to be healthier, happier individuals. I wanted to pour out my life doing something that would make a tangible difference uh, for other people. I'm gonna do international medicine. I found Centerville, Alabama, and thought I'll work here for two years, pay off some loans, and then go overseas. Within the first week of being in practice, I realized this is a mission field. I don't feel a piece about leaving, so I set up a practice, called that practice Cahaba Medical Care. At the very beginning, with no grant funding, we decided to not turn anybody away for inability to pay. Gradually, around 2009, 2010, I started to discover what a community health center was. It was a nonprofit, stakeholder-led, patient-led organization where you have a sliding fee discount schedule, which we were already doing, but you were able to qualify for grants. Dr. Lacey Smith had joined me at this point. Dr. Waits had already gone through multiple years himself of just like refusing to not see the patients who needed him, but still needing to pay his staff. We put together a proposal to 11 patients and community members and said, we want to sell this private practice that we've built, turn it into a nonprofit, and help even more of our uninsured and underinsured uh, neighbors. Help them not just with medical care, but with oral health care, behavioral health care, even spiritual health care. Ended up in the middle of this like huge 300 page grant application. He like slept in his office for like three or four nights in a row. Uh, we were like staying up all night working, trying to like meet the deadline. And so by 2013, uh, we had a family medicine residency and a community health center. We would be a much less of an organization if we didn't have kind of both pillars. You know, if we weren't an FQHC, we would not have nearly as rich an environment to train residents in. And if we didn't have the training, we would be less of an FQHC. We recruit better here because people who really love primary care want to teach it. They want to pass that on. Every single clinic that we've opened, the need was there and we were invited into that community. In terms of patient care, we want to be a place of love, peace, and justice for our patients in a very holistic way, not only solving their health care needs, but mental health, spiritual health. We want to train those that are coming behind us in this model of care. There are people here who are forgotten and who are not being seen. Kind of having that opportunity to do that work every day is definitely rewarding. That's kind of what we've been about over these years.